In this video guide, we're going to see how we can export from Unreal Engine into Blender. So how we can export objects, geometry, materials, texture. So first of all, you can check in the marketplace. There are a lot of ready-made uh, scenes and props and assets that you can get. And um, you will also find like a section where you, you can find uh, free material from Epic Games. So you have to have, of course, the Unreal Engine 5 already installed. And right now, I'm already launching the, the engine. And you can see there in the background, I already opened Blender. So uh, just to show you real quick, but if you want, you, you will find other video guys on these topics and also a video course in uh, Blender and Unreal Engine. So essentially, if you go here, you have free stuff from the marketplace. And right now, I, I'm using a scene called ArcVis. So you can search for the this file in the marketplace. And uh, just to show you real quick, if I go in the library, once you downloaded the the file, so it's this one here that I am opening up. And once it's downloaded, you should find it here in your library section of the Epic Games Launcher. So if you if you know a real engine and how it works, you already know all of this stuff. But just to show you here where to find it. And it's uh, this one here, ArcVis Interior. So you can see, you can find it in the marketplace and it's an Epic Games um, sample showing the realistic rendering capabilities of a real engine. And this was originally 4.24, but you can upgrade that to the render engine five. So uh, this is what I'm opening up, just to show you this um, example. So I'm going to bring in Blender, and this is uh, latest Blender 3.5. And um, so I'm just going to create an empty space. And this is the scene right here, which I already changed it a little bit. I've imported assets from Polycam using photogrammetry and uh, also important extra assets from Twinmotion. So what I want to do is just export. Let's say that I want to export this uh, coach right here. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to export. And I can do export all if I want to export everything or export selected if I want to export just the selected object. So let's select, for example, this uh, pavement here and also this carpet. So I'm holding control to select to do multiple selection. And let's get also this go right here. So let's do file, export, selected. And um, I need to choose a folder where to export it. So I'm going to save it here in my Blender folder. And I think I have already a, an import folder. Or I can just create one. So I'm going to do new folder, call this import. And in here, I'm going to save this file. So I'm going to call this export from UE import into Blender. And you see you have different options, but I think that the, the best one is um, FBX. You could try FBX, OBJ, STL, also GLTF should be fine. So in this case, I'm going to use GLTF. I think this is the the best one that I've tested. So you can do more experiments and you can let us know in the comments. And here we, we're going to set up something. Let's see what we can do. Here you can set up the, the resolution of the texture. But I think I'm going to keep everything as it is and just export. So let's wait, depending on how many objects I want to export and how many polygons is going to take some time. You can see here it's exporting now the material and then it's exporting also the, 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 the geometry. OK, wait until the export has finished and then let's go to file in Blender, file menu, import and select GLTF. And then I'm going to navigate where I stored the, the file. So uh, you can see here that, well, this is another import, actually. There you go. So this is the one I, I've just saved. And I'm going to go and import GLTF. 
and also here we need to wait a little bit. You can see the export is a little bit long, but the import is really quick. So we can see now the exported assets. And so I'm splitting the screen here so you can see both of the software. There you go. So we have a real engine on one side and uh, Blender on this other side. So you can see the, the selected objects right there. And so everything is working perfectly. Now the geometry looks fine. So you can select the different parts. Now let's see the material. So I need to click on the third sphere here on the top right to activate the materials. And there you go. So we have materials, textures, anything we need if we want to work now in, uh, in Blender and perhaps create variations or on these uh, assets. So this will be all for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the other video guides that you find in the channel. So you will find uh, video guides and video courses in Unreal Engine, in Blender, in Twinmotion, and many other software. Actually, one last thing I can do is check if the render engine is also working fine. So you can see here, let's expand this. So you can see right now it's rendering using Cycles, so switch from EV, go to the fourth sphere first, and then switch into cycles. So right now we are also seeing some wireframe. So if you don't want to see the wireframe, you need to fix here some uh, of the views. So just click on this one here and this one here. So everything like gets out of your way in the viewport and everything looks uh, more realistic. And we are now working with this light that we have and the camera also, we have these two when we open Blender, but we can also add more, we can turn them off. We can try with the with this HDRI right here to make it look, look a little bit better. Perhaps we can turn off the, the scene light right here. So we cannot play with Blender as uh, we know how to do with all the different tools. We can test how the, these models works. And I think these, these are really excellent models and a lot of stuff you can find in a real engine and then you can get it in Blender. So let me do the, the split screen again. And uh, finally, what I wanna do is uh, decrease a little bit the strength of these uh, HDRIs because it looks too bright. And you can also change, you can use different HDRIs here. Perhaps it's better something that remembers like a Recall to our materials like this one here. So you can see, you can see the light there. And we can also rotate a little bit to make the light come from another angle, which could be like a better angle for this scene. And that's it. So now we just need to wait for the render to, to finish its job, or we can run a render here. But all these topics are covered in the various uh, Blender video courses that you find in the channel. So this will be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please subscribe. Please uh, join the channel as a supporter if you want to support us and check other videos, guys, and uh, courses that you find in the channel. So thanks and see you in the next video.